This is the story of Scrap and Style TV. When I was a little girl, I used to love to play with scissors and paper and paste. Okay, yeah, I used to eat the paste, but most of the time it made its way onto the paper. When I grew older, and I said older, not bigger. So when I got older, I learned about scrapbooking or life art or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, it totally changed my life and my background, apparently. Oh, look how cute my shelves look. They're so lifelike. I'm sorry. So anyway, to make a long story short, I decided to create a TV show about it. And here we are. Okay, that was cool. Okay, I have been waiting for months to tell you guys about our Project Catwalk contest that we hosted on the website. It started last July and went, I think, 14 or 15 weeks. It was grueling and long. We had over 100 people that competed. and We had four women that came out on top. Our four finalists were Julie Weiss, Jenny Chesnick, Mandy Starner, and our winner, Michelle Rydell. For their final challenge, they had to make three projects that had very specific requirements. One of them was to use Scrap and Style TV's mod sheets in a very creative and innovative way. They came up with some amazing projects. I could not believe it when I opened those packages and saw the things that they had made. Our winner, Michelle Rydell, came up with a fantastic project that really showcased the mod sheets and their uh, versatility and ease of use. So what we're gonna do is we're going to show you quickly how to recreate the project that she made. Each sheet is designed so that it has at least two and up to five different patterns on it. You've got these three sheets, they're from the Songbird collection. They all coordinate beautifully, but you actually have 10 different patterns just in these three sheets. So if you cut them all up, you end up with all of this, these different sizes. And they're all proportioned uh, in really good scrapbooking sizes. We've got eight by 12, eight by eight, six by six, four by six, two by three, you name it, we got it. Now what Michelle did, which I thought was extremely innovative, is very simple, but she just really thought about how to best utilize the mod sheets. And she just basically cut them up exactly how they were all laid out and made that into an album. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. Okay, I am using our Night Owl collection and I cut everything out, all the patterns out, and I have all of this so much. And here are my larger pieces. I'm going to make an eight by 12 album. It's a little bit bigger than the one that Michelle made, but it was just easy because I just cut them straight out just how they were and I don't have to do any additional trimming. Okay, after I cut out all of the patterns from the Night Owl collection, I just laid them on top of each other how I wanted them to be arranged and I punched my holes in them. And now I'm just going to bind them with a few pieces of ribbon. All right, now I'm gonna tie them using a square knot, right over left, left over right. So now it's all bound together. And let me just show you through it. It's got lots of different neat little size pages and it's all ready for me to embellish and put photos in. It's a great thing to take to a crop too because you can just take your three pieces of paper from the collection and make your little album and just use whatever embellishments you have, put your photos in it. Okay, I wanna show you guys the inside of Michelle's book. It's her favorite things from 2008. And everything has a number on it, and it's all different sizes. It's just adorable, and it's quick, clever, and lots of fun. All right, it's that time of the week again. Time to show you my hot shot picks. Let's see who's got it this week. This week's fashionista pick is this gorgeous layout created by Kayla Amy Terrell. Kayla always uses wonderful vintage items, but she combines them with some contemporary elements for a great overall aesthetic that's all her own. My Sis TV collection pick of the week comes to us courtesy of Patricia Roebuck and the Songbird Collection. Great work, Patricia. The sisters pick this week is this angelic layout by Fav and Manon. 
I'm really sorry if I butchered your name. I'm not so good with the Dutch names. Michelle Tan was also a winner this week. She was randomly selected from all the sisters that commented on Fav's layout. Congratulations to both of you. And last but not least is my overall selection for the week. It's this wonderfully fun and colorful layout created by Anna Jo Lexander. Congratulations to all of our winners. You all will be receiving a $20 gift certificate to the Sis TV Boutique. Now, if you're asking yourself, self, how did I become a hotshot? We have the answer. Check out this week's newsletter and there's an article all about how you can be one of our hotshots. so much because I really have been learning some amazing things in my Organizing 101 workshop with Abby Garvey. And last week it was a little overwhelming, but this week I've learned some great tips and so I'm going to start purging some things. And purging is hard because I know we all get attached to our possessions. There are three questions that you have to ask yourself with each item that you're considering purging. Do you use it? Do you need it? Do you love it? And if you can't say yes to any of those things, it's got to go. So I'm in my scrapbooking studio and I've got a big stack of paper that I need to go through and I need to get rid of some of it. So those three questions don't specifically apply to paper. Well, the love it, I guess, does. But one thing I want you guys to consider as you're going through each piece, if you went into a scrapbooking store or a craft store and saw this piece of paper, whatever it is, is it something that you would still buy? And if you say no, then get rid of it. Because if it's not something that you would currently buy, it's probably not something that you're going to choose when you go to make your next layout or project. You're just gonna pass right over it and go to the newest thing that you have. Now, don't be afraid to purge, all right? I'm sure you have some friend who's just getting into scrapbooking who would love to have your hand-me-downs. I just think, too, that having too much paper can be stifling creatively. Sometimes, less is more, okay? You can do it.